Now we're about 50 miles below the surface, at the uppermost region of the mantle. This layer is made up of rock that's rich in oxygen, iron, magnesium, aluminum, and it extends from here all the way down to around 1,800 miles below the surface. The mantle is also where molten rock known as magma can form, the stuff that flows upward during volcanic eruptions, at which point the magma becomes lava. This was pretty much the picture scientists had of the mantle until earlier this year, when a vast, hidden ocean of water was discovered some 400 miles beneath North America. It goes to show that the rocks down here have a pretty impressive capacity to store water. After the crust comes the mantle. It's a silicate rocky shell and about 2,900 kilometers thick. The mantle consists of the upper mantle and the lower mantle. The upper mantle has different regions too. Its upper part, which is viscous and carries the crust, is called the lithosphere. After that, there comes the asthenosphere, which consists of less mobile, mostly solid material.